The curse of Tippecanoe is a historical phenomenon that revolves around the belief that strange misfortunes and untimely deaths befall U.S. presidents elected in years ending with a zero. This curse is said to originate from an ancient Native American prophecy that brings bad luck to these leaders. The curse is named after the Battle of Tippecanoe, which occurred in 1811 between Native American tribes, led by Shawnee Chief Tecumseh and the United States Army, led by future President William Henry Harrison. Legend has it that Tecumseh cursed Harrison during this battle, proclaiming that every president elected in a year ending with a zero would die in office. History has indeed seen a number of tragic events befall these presidents. The curse is said to have come into effect with Harrison's own untimely death in 1841, just one month after his inauguration. Since then, several other presidents who were elected in these years have faced unfortunate fates. Abraham Lincoln was assassinated in 1865, James A. Garfield was assassinated in 1881, William McKinley was assassinated in 1901, Warren G. Harding died suddenly in 1923, Franklin D. Roosevelt died in office in 1945, John F. Kennedy was assassinated in 1963, and more recently Ronald Reagan survived an assassination attempt in 1981. Despite the evident pattern, many skeptics dismiss the curse of Tippecanoe as mere coincidence. They argue that the curse merely represents statistical probability, as presidential assassinations and deaths in office have occurred throughout American history, regardless of the year. Furthermore, there have also been presidents elected in years ending with a zero who have served their full terms without facing any ill fate. Nonetheless, the curse of Tippecanoe continues to captivate the imagination of both believers and skeptics alike. It serves as a compelling reminder of the eerie coincidences that can arise from historical events and the enduring superstitions that follow them.